welcome back to Auto Haas to Naples. I'm Haley. And I'm Layton. And two is better, better than, than one. one. Today we have a really fun convertible, another Mercedes, and this one's a really great one. But before we get into this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, and click the bell to turn the notifications on. And check out our website for all of our current inventory and more information on this Mercedes. All right. So what we have for everyone today is a really nice convertible. This is a 2008 Mercedes CLK 550. I love this model. It's towards the end of these CLK, you know, the beloved CLK. They don't offer a CLK anymore. It's kind of like that E350 we did the other day, but there's something real special about the CLK, I think. Yeah, and that chrome trim on the grill, that's actually specific to the 550. And so whenever you see that chrome going down the road, you know that it's a 550. I really love that front grill having the body color and the chrome, like you said. That looks real nice. Yeah. And the whole front of this car, so this one's going to be the second generation of CLK. And you can definitely tell the difference between a second gen and a first gen. Um, this one, one other thing they changed in that grill is there was four uh, louvers and now there's only three. I love the look. It's very simple, sleek, and you know, the headlights, everything about the front of these cars is, they look so nice and luxurious. Yeah, for sure. This is definitely one of the sportiest Mercedes that they have. I mean, I just love the look. It's sleek, but it's sporty. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. I love on this one, you're going to have a flat Mercedes emblem. That one looks real nice. Very, very simple. And this one's finished in tuxedo black. You've got that nice, simple black exterior. Nice and sporty. Yeah, I love the black on over that brown leather. Yeah, I think this one's cappuccino brown, and then you also have the black interior mixed with that as well. I think it just looks so cool. It's really, really unique. You don't see that every day. Yeah, normally you see more of that beige color, but I love that cappuccino brown. It's nice you have the black too that kind of, it ties in the exterior color with the interior, but then like you said, you got that pop of brown as well. Yeah. And you can't tell right now, but with the top up, it's almost identical to the coupe version. So mm -hmm. it looks really, really cool with the top up as well. It has a black top, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the back seats as well. One thing I do like about these is you do have a decent amount of space. It's not your biggest back seat. Again, it's a convertible, but you have enough space that, you know, you can squeeze in if you have to. The seats are really nice back here. You got two bucket seats over there. It's not a, you know, a bench or anything. I love, love the look. And you've got your own, um, I guess you can see over there, you got your own window. What would you call that window knob or <laughs> whatever to roll up the window. So when you're in the back seat, you can actually be in charge of your own window, which is kind of, I don't know. I think it's kind of neat if you're in the back seat. Yeah. Then on the wheels down here, I really love these ones as well. You got AMG wheels, and these are 18 inch, which is a really nice size. I think it complements the car very well. The tires on here are 255, 35ZR 18s. And the wheels on the back are a little bit wider than the front wheels, and it kind of gives that staggered race car look. Oh, which, that's nice. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. Yeah, it's just a real sporty, classic Mercedes car. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. Then on the back, you've got the CLK 550 badging. I really love, 2007 was the first year they offered the model CLK 550, and this is an 08, so this is the second year of that. And you've got the double AMG exhaust, which is a real nice touch on this one. Mm. So let's pop the trunk. We have the top down. Wow, look at all that space still. And there's still a bunch of space. It actually, does it matter if the top is up or down? I think it's the same. Or it stays the same, yeah. yeah. But no, definitely enough for some, you know, weekender luggage. Nothing exciting down there. Nothing exciting down there. But the carpeting's in really great condition. This car is just about 13, going on 14 years old. Really great shape, the car's in great condition. Yeah. I mean, I just love to see a car like this that still runs and looks like it's, you know, fairly new. For sure. 
Wow, look at that. So clean. I love this one. And we got a V8 today, which is awesome. So this is going to be a 5.5 liter V8, 382 horsepower. Whoa. Leighton's going to test it out on the freeway. Yeah, I am. This is going to be a fun one. I love, you know, you can't go wrong with a V8. Um, it's, you know, super reliable. Yeah, exactly. And this one car was offered in V6s, V8s. And so I'm really happy that we have the biggest engine that you can have for this model, which is real nice. I really love that. So this will be a fun one for sure. Yeah. A fun one. It is. It's a little cloudy. Oh, safety first. Oh, safety first. I was gonna say we could drive with the top down since it's a little bit cooler today, but for video purposes, we'll get the windows we'll up. Get the windows up and drive with it down. Or on. It is a really nice day today. Otherwise, though, I really do love this interior. You got that black leather and also the cappuccino leather. Yeah, I, I absolutely love this because it's just, I don't know, so sleek and unique. Um, yeah, it's a great look. No, for sure. And especially with the top down driving by, I mean, it's just like very classy, it but is, it catches your mm -hmm. eye. Whereas, you know, black on black, that's a sleek look, but the brown just adds something. That pop of brown makes a difference. And I love the wood in here as well. It's, I love this color. It's not your typical, you know, like that burl walnut look in Mercedes, which I do love, but there's something about this, this color wood that's really nice. It's subtle, but still stands out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Up here, you have your vent adjustments. And I, I like how you use the different kind of like dials to change how the you know you're receiving the air and everything well it's cool that like this one up here does both but then you know if you just want to do one you right can, i don't know it's, it's yeah different. and i love this look with all the circular chrome i think that's a real nice one as mm -hmm. well and i think this one one of my favorite things you have this little pop out compartment mm -hmm. i don't even know really what you keep in here coins i guess i'm all uh, about that's the coins. Your coin pouch. that's my coin pouch yeah, I think it's really neat though. It's just kind of a funny thing. And like, if you didn't know, you really wouldn't even ever see it. No. Like, it just looks like a little slot in the, in the leather and everything. Oh, here we go. She's got the open road. Here I go. I think the zero to 60 is 5.1 seconds. Oh, wow. That's pretty quick. 
Let's see. Yes, we're gonna see. Wow. I'd say that was pretty quick. Yeah. It put you in your seat a little bit. Yeah. I really love even for being like a 13 year old car, you have a lot of speed and it, it's a pretty powerful car. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I love that it's a V8 instead of a V6. That, mm -hmm. that just, if you're gonna get a Mercedes, you gotta get a V8. Yeah, a great engine in there. I love the wheel on this one. It's your classic standard, simple, you know, mm -hmm. Mercedes wheel. You have your volume. You got that perforated leather there that I think looks kind of cool, you know, a little sporty look. Volume, and then this has phone connectivity, which is really nice for an 08. Mm -hmm. That's a great feature. I think it was an upgrade and several thousand dollars worth of upgrade. Wow. Yeah, and then you also have your instrument cluster right here. It's really nice. You got temperature right there. A nice cool day for us, 86. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the 90s. And I really love the look. It's I love that. I just said love 10 times. But that um, the silver back, having that finish back there makes everything pop, which mm -hmm. is really nice. Open road again. Oh, he spoke too soon. I jinxed it. Ford Ranger. Wow. That's disappointing. That is disappointing. It has a very nice cruise, though. Oh, it's it very does. comfortable. And it's so quiet. Mm hmm. Road noise wise, it's really, really good. Oh, speaking of, we might need to go get gas or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go get gas. That must have just popped on. Yeah. Yeah, screw you, Ford Ranger. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> I love how quick it is. It is really quick. How does it feel driving? It's pretty comfortable over here. It's super comfortable super just like I don't know reliable I guess uh -huh. is the steering pretty responsive and yeah. everything yeah yeah it seems like whenever you move it, it you can feel that movement right away mm -hmm. yeah I really like this even on the freeway yeah I know I keep I, I I'm shocked by the speed I'm going I look down I'm like oh my gosh it doesn't even feel like we're going that fast yeah it just glides by yeah kind of feels like we're hugging the ground as we're driving by mm -hmm. and we're so low to the ground it's it's really comfortable yeah definitely comfortable i love these seats mm -hmm. the leather super soft yeah and even the back seat those seats i just you can tell they're very plush they've got a lot of extra you know padding to them very comfortable yeah and that back seat is very it's practical for just driving downtown with your friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, you wouldn't want to sit back there for a five-hour road trip, but <laughs> sure. if you're going downtown, a 30-minute drive. Yeah, no, it's way. definitely practical in that aspect, and again, you know, you've got a lot of space. If you are driving two people, you know, you can just use that as extra storage. If you're going on a, you know, some sort of road trip, you can throw your bags back there and still have the trunk and mm -hmm. You know, you got a lot of versatility with it for sure. Oh, you've got someone following you today. Of course. The same person that cut you off earlier. <laughs> Good thing I don't have the road rage like you. Yeah, that's true. All right, I really love the infotainment center in here as well. You have the unlock, the lock. We've got our audio, navigation. You've got the phone connectivity that Leighton was talking about. You know, all your seek, stuff like that. You've got the map, all the good stuff. You've got your phone buttons right here. And I love we have the auto climate control in here, which is really nice. And you also have dual. That is nice. So when, you know, people want different temperature in here. And I love the knobs in here. I think they're very sleek and it's kind of cool that you can go in between each setting. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, you want a little bit on your feet, but not fully on your feet or things like that. So I think that's kind of cool. 
kind of fun. That is cool. And then you also have your cigarette lighter and a second coin pouch. Oh, uh, lots of coins. Lots of coins in this one. And the shift knob in this one just screams luxurious to mm -hmm. me. That Mercedes emblem on top, you got all the chrome, black leather. Then right here we have our top button and we have a cup holder. And what's kind of neat is it starts closed off like this, but if you open it up, you're gonna have your additional cup holder. Oh, nice. You got extra space in there as well. But it's kind of cool because if you don't need both cup holders, you can keep that closed and just have the one. It kind of simplifies the look in here and I really like that. Yeah. Can't complain. We also have our glove box. Some goodies per usual. You got your CD changer. Gotta love that. And great space in this one. Pretty deep, ample space. And also, one thing that's really nice is even on the passenger side, you have three memory settings. Not one, not two, but three. And all those power adjustments. Very simple. I love when they're up on the door like this as well. Very smooth and comfortable. This is a great convertible. Make sure and check it out on our website, autohossandnaples.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all of our new videos. And let us help you drive, drive your dream. dream.